Who's joining us now? You're you're witnessing potentially maybe one of the first times ever a furball has been recorded on live stream. Uh, you're joined by your hosts, the dynamic duo of Dengaru, aka Dengar and Manru. I believe also the world's first husband and wife commentating concept. Now, Manru, do you know much about uh, furballs and how they work? This is actually the first furball that I've ever watched. Okay, so uh, for those of you at home who don't understand what's going on, uh, l understand really quick, this is going to be chaos. Uh, <laughs> but what a furball is, it's generally a every person for themselves, uh, complete um, no person's last man standing kind of a thing. But what we're doing this time is each player, we have eight players today, uh, gets to pick any ship that they want, up to 35 points, any upgrades, anything else that they use. The only things they can't do is they cannot use a regen mechanic. And they cannot use Lone Wolf, because Lone Wolf means if you have no friendly ships around you, you can reroll. And of course, when a, in a furball, there are no enemy ships, so there are no friendly ships, so that's why we don't use that upgrade. Uh, and what we're doing is it's a point system where uh, we move with all the same rules in initiative order, but essentially it's almost as if eight people are playing at once, and they all only have one ship in their list. So what you see up on screen are some of the players and, and what they've brought to the table. We have a lot of really fun, uh, interesting ships, because there are a lot of builds in this game that are only really good in a furball. Uh, ships that you would never spend 35 points on ever in a normal uh, tournament, but are quite fun in here. So we're gonna see action right out the front gate, as that's, uh, for those of you watching, the unknown at uh, number two is actually Sarko Plank. Uh, it's just our app doesn't have his name entered into the system. Yeah, we don't have the li latest round of releases in our data files, mm. I didn't realize, so. Uh, our, we have a tool that lets us do our overlays and it doesn't have quad jumpers yet. That's no problem. For those of you curious, uh, Sarko Plank's ability is basically whenever he uh, does a reverse maneuver, he can bomb, drop a bomb forward. Okay, so there's some craziness going on. Basically what happens is you start at the lowest PS and move your way up just like you would in regular X-Wing and uh, everybody shoots at everybody else and it's essentially you score one point for a hit, two points for a crit, and five points for a kill. You have unlimited lives, so you can regen for the ever. We're being a one hour time limit, and that person with the most points at the end of the furball is going to win. So this is going to be chaos. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we've never tried to commentate on one of these before, so we'll see what happens. It looks like we've already got combat right out the gate. It looks like Fenrau threw one die. at. Um, so Billy's running Darth Ezra, who was uh, by um, a previous ca caster by the name of Thorlom kind of built that ship. And uh, you can see it's very hard to do damage on. <laughs> we might not be able to keep up with the stream just so you know what's going on. Looks like Cirrus is firing at Guri now. Uh, Looks like people have a hard on for Guri. He's got, well, had two target locks. Yeah. yeah. And that's two hits. Oh, two hits and a crit. So that'll be. It's going to take two. Two. Yeah. Because that's auto blaster cannon on the Cirrus suit, so that's two points already for the hit and the crit. So that should be three points already for the Cirrus suit player. Which I think is Cam. I think that might be Cam Marie. I thought I heard his voice. Yeah, it is. It looks like it is. All right. Now we've got Deathfire down there firing at Sarko. Sorry, uh, um, Backdraft firing at Sarko. At range one, and that it looks, looks like, like two hits. Yeah. It's gonna use. His Target lock. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Oh, that's four damage already. Four, four and that poor good. jump master's gonna eat that. That is way too many evade dice being rolled. Is it? Uh, I don't think jump masters have four. I don't know why they have four evades. Uh, One damage. Okay. Oh, stealth device. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got the. I got the. I gave you guys oh, Zuvio's like ability. Sarko's ability is. Uh, he or she rolls the amount of evade results, of evade dice, based on the speed of its maneuver. So that means that the Sarko player did a three speed and had stealth device. So that would have given him four evade dice, but still took damage and unfortunately stealth device is gone. That's Guri throwing uh, two, two dice. Yeah. And one and evade. It looks on. like one evade, yeah. yeah. So Sirisu will take damage. Now correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like they're using colored chips to actually count their points. Yes. That's genius. Yeah. Just because we, you could use like uh, meeple cubes and that kind of stuff. Um, it looks like seriously took one damage. I'm not even sure who's firing at who right now. That it looks was Billy. Like... So... Billy has two hits. Ooh, so that focus. looks like TLT fire going backwards into um, into. I believe it will be yeah. So he's firing TLTs for another guaranteed on defend round. Looks like two hits in a crit. 
Now, of course, Fenrao, uh, sorry, uh, you can't do crit critical damage on a TLT, so with auto flashes and focus, that's no damage. Uh, now, explain something to me. Mm -hmm. So, let's say you are attacking and you get, let's say, two hits. Does that count as two points? No, you get the one point for a successful hit scored, and then you get one point for a crit scored. Okay. So if you were to get a hit crit, I do okay. believe you would get three points. Okay. Now, there's ve there's various flavors of furball. Sometimes we always run them on our game nights at the store. Uh, we usually do, like, a, a life limit, and then it's last, last ship standing. We've had versions of it before with, with less players. When you blow up, you leave a debris cloud behind. Mm -hmm. That gets a bit hectic because there's debris literally everywhere. everywhere. A lot of fun, but a bit hectic. We don't normally run fur balls with eight players uh, because you're about to see how madness it's going to become. And hard to keep up. Yeah, we also try to run it. The whole point of fur ball is fast, loose, and a lot of fun. There's usually a time limit on how much time you have to set your dials. Um, oh. Usually less than a minute or two. Yeah, these are quite quick. It looks like everybody's being really smart and they're using their opponent's turns at firing to kind of plan their maneuvers so that they're ready to go right away. Exactly. That's a very strong method of, uh, of doing it because basically you can kind of see where everybody is and you can decide what's going to go on at that point. Now, I mean, it's early in the game, so we haven't seen anybody get destroyed yet, I don't think, but when somebody does explode, do they start anywhere on the board on the edge that they want to? They have to be they... away from, they have to be uh, maneuver temperate three away. From where they died? Yeah, range three, no, range three away from an, an opponent. Okay. Anywhere on the board they anywhere want to start. Anywhere as long as it's range three away yeah. from the person. And you anyway. can also see, as I said, Fast and the Furious, usually if you're on the other side of the table, you just move while the other person's moving. So who we have right there is the Death Fire player lining up a target lock and a focus on the Sirisu, and then Billy, who's running Darth Ezra, did oh, the sorry, thing. Did the thing. Technical terms being So Zubio's gun speed three, so that means, oh, that's beautiful. Someone's got that Ontario Finest crit token out there. Oh, I love those. Yeah. So that so now that Zubio's gone speed three, it will have uh, three evade die to roll this time. And that's why he rolled four last time, because he did a speed three, and that would have allowed him to have that fourth one with the stealth device. Ooh, so Gurry's going for a sloop, and you're going to get some aggro going on on the Sirisu. Oh. Sorry, stressed. Which one is which one? Which one? That's Back Draft. draft. Which was this one? That is Sirisu. Okay. And then that's Curry. Are you sure? 500%. Okay. Yeah, three is Curry. So yellow, th yellow three, oh, is three is in, Yellow three is in the right spot. So the, the ones are... Red right. three is in the right spot. Right. No. It's like a hard two. Oh, yeah. Red three is right. The ones are backwards. Uh, the white one... And a barrel Yes, roll. the white ones are... Yeah, those are backwards. Trying to get him in his arc. Ooh, you're going to feel that. It's going to be four dice. Yeah. So that looks like... Oh yeah, it is. That's um, is it? I think that's Jeff who's running Jeff Asiri who's running the backdraft, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's one of the ships that he took to being the top ranked Imperial player at System Open. Naboo. Oh nice. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure he had backdraft with his uh, Omega leader and um, Vessary list, or he might have had he might have had quick draw. I'm not 100 percent sure. What else was he and flying as well as a Mega Leader Investory? Sorry? What else was he flying as well as a Mega Leader Investory? The Thai SF. I wasn't sure if it was Backdraft mm. or um, Omega Leader. Or sorry, or uh, Quick Draw. And right up there at the top of the board is uh, Ontario's finest Chowda, a.k.a. Oh, Chowda. So if you can die and come back to life, yeah. what happens with your munitions? You get refresh. That it's is like a fantastic it's, question. it's like an FPS. So that's why it's really great to play in an, a munitions based ship uh, and a furball because when you explode, you come back to life and all your munitions uh, uh, respawn. So I like flying thirty five point red line because he pretty much dies anyways and always gets his missiles back. So some madness going on right now. Her one damage on I'm not sure where that was. That was Fen Rao on at Darth Ezra. So I feel like we're gonna see some explosions this turn. Oh yeah. Now. Um, I'm super new to X-Wing, so I'm not familiar with all the names of all the ships quite yet. Mm -hmm. Um, but this one right here. Yeah, the TIE-SF? The this one right here? Oh, the tugboat. The tugboat. The jump, the uh, quad jumper. Quad jumper. So, um, I got to play against one of those today for the first time ever, and I felt like Ooh. they're, they're pretty good when you're within range one, are you not? Or does that only when you're so in the arc? Sorry, the, the wooing you're hearing me potentially coming from the crowd is a four damage from Ooh. an auto blaster cannon. That uh, that Sirisu is rocking because fearlessness triggered there, and fearlessness is a title that says that when you're in the forward arc, each other's arc, you get one hit, uh, and then the auto blaster is a two attack die weapon that does that as well. So that basically ends up ended up giving him uh, three un unmissable hits. And how many points would that come out to? Uh, Sir that Sirisu build is a thirty five point build. Oh no! How many chips would that give? Oh, him? so that's gonna give him five points. That's really good. That's a good turn. Yeah, Cam's off to a good start. 
And there's Jeff putting uh, three damage into the quad jumper. Yeah. Who's gonna roll three evade because of three speed and the focus will net no damage. There he goes. So Sarko is also a good choice in Furball because of the fact that he, um, nice. the fact that he can go really fast and give himself lots of evades. So if he goes four speed, which I'm not sure if the quad jumper has it or not, um, he would end up be rolling four evade dice in the next turn. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Gotta watch my uh, text. So, what do you think you would do if you were the who's? Where do you who do you think is gonna go pop next? Not crazy familiar with the ships just yet, okay. but right now I'm really interested in um, what the tie is gonna do because he does have that asteroid in his way. Yeah. Well, the tie as special forces ha does have a hard two to the right. Yeah. Uh, and he does move after the quad jumper moves. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. I feel like the quad jumper is going to be in two arcs. Well, yeah. quad jumpers can also reverse, correct? They can. They actually have that awesome reverse maneuver. I learned that today. Yeah, which actually... Oh, somebody just blanked. Oh, I hear... took No, no, two he damage. had a focus. Did he not? No. Oh. Oh, that's somebody else's dice. Yeah. yeah I'm not sure who that was on. That's right. So now uh, Ezra's rolling his TLT, which looks like three. Billy's got some god dice on his hands there, and that's another damage on defend route. And the 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 situation he actually here that's actually really working against Fen Rao's favor is the fact that, and that's going to be just one hit only. He should be able to dodge this with auto thrusters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, is the fact that the fastest, the fastest that Fen Rao can go while clearing stress is three forward. Okay. So as long as Billy always manages to keep that Fen Rao behind him and not closing the distance, he could probably pick him apart with just his TLTs. Oh, that's amazing. And that was another zero and over. Yeah. TLTs are pretty awesome. Yeah, they definitely are a problem. Now, the thing is, as all these people are starting to whittle each other away, you're going to start to see that, that Deathfire come in and just start laying in the pain with, uh, with his damage. Potential damage output with all the miss miss missiles and munitions carriers he's carrying. Now... When your ship does go down, mm -hmm. when in a game like this where we're regenerating, uh, do you wait for the next round? That I'm actually not 100% sure on. As I said, we have a few different flavors of, uh, of, of Furball. It looks like Guri's about to regen. I think you regen at the beginning of the next one. There she is. She's there she is. Regening now. Oh, that's good that's a great place to be. Great to, placement. Yeah. Come flying in, screaming in, and start going. And there's out. no penalty for dying, correct? No, this is all about points. So this is all about crush, kill, and destroy. So, so you're not losing points for dying. Exactly, you're it's an arcade accumulating. mode. Accumulating. Yep. So it's basically just it's a race to see how many points you can score by killing the most. So it's actually advantageous to take risks because Absolutely. you're not losing anything, and you might gain. Absolutely, and again, that's the whole point. Furball is about fast and furious fun. It's it's something you do, and, and at the end of the day, and like I said, we've already finished our, our, our first round of Swiss today, so these are all the men and women who are just going to stick around and have a really good time at the Open today. They've already played their three rounds of Swiss, and they all wanted to stick around and, and play on a, on a furball on television, which is not something you see all that often, so oh, this is really cool. fun. Yeah. And again, you get to see some really unique stuff, because like, I don't think you'd ever see... A Sirisu with fearlessness and auto blaster, unless you're flying Happy Tree Friends. Shouts out to Mike P, oh, we miss the OG, you, Mike. Uh, OG God of Expo. You need to come back and uh, get back on top. And now, so here comes Champ flying down that board edge, I believe, oh trying to lock somebody down with his missile. See if he can get in this game now. Is that Score himself some point. That is definitely Champ. 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 I don't think Champ. he. Can, I don't think he can hear you. The people at home can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> Yelling into their ears. <laughs> Uh, so Billy's managed to clear his stress on Darth Ezra, and he's doing experimental interface, uh, which is a whole bunch of different cool stuff. It's basically, he's got Lando crew, and Lando basically lets you roll two evade dice, and you get whatever results you get on those results. So you could potentially get double evades or a focus on an evade. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, and then Ezra also has what's called experimental interface, which um, oh, there we oh, go. Oh, he's back. It's backing up. No, no, he's bombs dropping. Bombs. Is it there cluster we go. bombs? That's a cluster mine. Cluster yeah. mines. Ah, yes, my nemesis. Oh, that's the hurt. Yeah, mines or bombs are a lot of fun to use in for a balls because there's a lot of ships all over the place, and um, I'm surprised nobody brought out any K-wings because K-wings are pretty fun in for balls. You know what? You're a target though because you have low agility and you're easy trimmings, uh, but when you can slam on top of people and drop bombs on their head, they're pretty good. In a, I think it would be worth it though in a game like this where you're not losing anything by dying. Absolutely. 
And here's a question, mm -hmm. because I'm aware that things like mines you only have a limited number of. Mm -hmm. So when you regen, do you regen with them back again? Absolutely, you get everything back that you've spent. Oh, that's fantastic. So if people don't run into them, they can literally sit yep. there and clutter the board. Yep. Wow, that's Welcome crazy. Welcome to Furballs. Welcome to Furballs. And, and looks is like he Jeff... eating some mines? No, he's fine. He is bumping, though. He but... did bump, but that's better than getting blown up, so... Okay, so what's Cirrus to do? She's probably going to bank there that way. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. There Trying to run away from that. I don't think she's going to be able to dodge that. Uh... Oh, she can if she barrel rolls back. She'd be able to dodge the arc of that missile. Or will she? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Find out. Yeah. Yep. There's the barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. This is also very interesting to see. Oh, beauty. Well, of course, this is basically mortgaging your future to save the present because now Cam is going to have to go over that asteroid next turn. But you know what? I feel like it's it's a safe bet in a, in a game like this because nobody's getting points for you taking damage from an asteroid, mm -hmm. right? And if you regen, you're regening at full health, full shields, correct? Mm -hmm. So then, yeah, I mean, it's it's worth it. It's also interesting to note that Sirisu's ability actually has no play in this game because there are no friendlies. Cam took her just for the... Uh, high PS and the cheapness of her ship. Mm. Oh, that's a range one Fenrau time. Here it comes. And, oh. Oh, you that can, was you can see You can see somebody jumping up and down with how lackluster that attack was. But here comes Hargalock. And that's looking a bit better. That's, that's looking like four damage. That does look like four hits. Yeah. And, and that's going to be... to be used. And, and you can only cool. spend one of eight at a time, so that's going to give you... And now, so if you're curious as to why he was able to turn those eyeballs into evade, uh, evade results, even though he did not have a focus token. Ezra's pilot ability is that when he's stressed, he gets to turn all of his focuses to evades. That's amazing. So basically, that's the whole point of the build behind the Darth Ezra build. Is that now, you... would you PTL on, on Darth Ezra so that you can always have your stress? Yeah, basically how you're doing it this way, though, is you're using advanced sensor, uh, sorry, using experimental interface, which is like a PTL, mm -hmm. only how PTL only works for actions on your action bar experimental interface only works for cards that have the action title and Lando Caruzzi in the crew card the what have we here baddest mofo on the planet <laughs> his ability says action roll to evade die and then you get whatever you roll so with Ezra what you do is you, you go you clear your stress take the focus token yes sorry take the evade token right and then you experimental interface for Lando Yes. And then you maybe get a second evade, maybe you get a focus, but it doesn't matter. What you want is the stress. Yes. Because Ezra's stress lets you reroll. So it's a very strong build. It's a very Fantastic. defensive, tanky build. Like Luckily, that. the FFG nerfed it so that you can't spend as many evade tokens as you want per round. Mm. That's only one. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh and that, was a, that was a direct hit in death. So what actually happened there, Jeff is looking for max points right now, because I'll explain to you in a second what happened after this was rolled, that's fine. So Jeff used the TIE SF's power to that when they're attacking, if it doesn't roll an additional die out the front, it can attack from both arcs. So he attacked out of his rear, and Backdraft's pilot ability is to add a crit from the rear. So Jeff attacked the uh, Billy, who the who was playing the um, Darth Ezra, yep. and got a hit crit, and then the crit that Billy took was a direct hit, and that's why he blew up. So Jeff was going for mad points that round. Now the hate seems to be on for Sirisu, so she's going to be taking the next damage next. There she goes. It looks like, yep, yeah, Sirisu, so it's Gertie firing on Sirisu, just for... And it looks like two hits. Yep, yeah, because of Predator. Oh yeah, Predator. I haven't seen that in a while, actually. Yeah, there's um, there's a lot well, There's a lot of other mechanics that are in the game right now. Oh, there goes another one. And there goes Sirisu, she's popped. So that's a revenge shot for uh, Gertie Gir on Sirisu. The interesting thing too is because of where everybody's kind of piled into the board, all the regens are going to start happening at the top On of the, the board. On the other side, yeah. And they're going to be able to come right in and flat. <laughs> so oh, you can amazing. see Billy deciding to go right after the champ. That's amazing. Just right after him. Maybe he heard the rumor that there's bounties out on Alan's head this tournament. And now we're seriously going to try to find a place to go. The reason why they're placing the ships now is that's basically the end of combat. And at the end of the round is when you regen. Yes, which makes sense. Yeah. Now, what kind of a ship do you think you'd want to fly if you were flying in a in a furball? Oh man. Well, 
I'm Manru and I'm not allowed to fly my jump master. I'm sorry. Because it's a big bay ship and big bay ships are not allowed in furball. Correct. That is a rule that I forgot to mention. You can't use big bay ships in, man in furball specifically because your ship is broken. I mean, good. My ship is amazing. Yeah. They don't, they don't, they don't call the uh, jump master broken anymore. They just call it a problem to be solved. With four nerfs later, is still too good to solve. You know, so. Dengar, you also fly a jump master. I gave you that ship. It's my ship first. Whatever. But I'm a bounty hunter that was in the movie. You were never in the movie. I will have my own movie one day. Yeah. Yeah, Disney likes to, when Disney starts dragging the bottom of the barrels. So what's, <laughs> what's interesting... They want a divorce! What's interesting here is that Sarko Plank is somehow still alive, uh, which is really interesting. And the really cool thing about that build uh, is the outmaneuver and the outlaw attack. This is really cool. So what outmaneuver does is that whenever you're attacking somebody and you have them in your forward firing arc, but they don't have you in theirs, you get to reduce their agility by one. Oh, that's... And that's, and that's also what's on backdraft. So that's how you were able to see. That's how Jeff was able to kill Ezra there because he rolled one less attack, evade die and still took the crit. So it looks like the Death Rain has finally decided to get involved in this game and get an arc on something after mm -hmm. four turns later. Uh, maybe earn some points. And uh, there we go. And there's a lot of times where having one less evade die is really murder. I mean, earlier today I was playing... Um, I was playing Ray and I was playing Nora and having one less of age I was really sad for me. It's already bad enough you're only rolling one to begin with. And then yeah, when you get that rolling none is, is just absolutely heartbreaking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's gonna cluster mine again. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. How many cluster mines do you get? Uh, well, he's got... He... Uh, I don't see... I don't see extra munitions on there, so he must have... Oh, okay, we missed it. When um, when Gurry blew up the first time, he yes. must have used Scavenger Crane to get that back. That would have been the only way he would have been able to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can't get extra munitions on uh, on the tugboat. Oh. I'm just assuming that's what happened. Yeah, because I thought you could only have the one. Yeah, because he hasn't blown up just yet. No, so. he really hasn't. No. But he must have an upgrade that allows... Now, explain to me what these um, missile... Oh, no, I'm sorry. What's I it? thought they were missiles. I'm looking at them backwards. Those yeah, there are, are stress those tokens. Those are stress tokens, yeah. So, I think you go for the S. That's exactly what you do. You go for the aggro. You bear roll Guri into range one. So, she has her four dice. She's going to get a focus token at the beginning of combat anyways from her ability. And you just go head-to-head -head with Ezra. Now, he does have a lot of defensive modifications. But, you know what? This game isn't about surviving. It's about killing. So you might as well go in there and, and flat, uh, swing it in. Now, here's the weird question. Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever explained why it's called a furball? Uh, there's different names for it, but we call it a furball because it's generally like listed as uh, when you're when you're when you get into like the mix, a dogfight, or when there's all the ships are bumping and jiving and, and hitting into each other. Yes. That's referred to as a furball. So mm -hmm. when when you're playing in the competitive game and. and You've got your ships and they have their ships and you start bumping into each other. They call that a fur ball. So as you can see, this is just absolute madness. It's just chaos. And that's exactly why we call it a fur ball. It's amazing. Yeah. Some people call it a Hunger Games. That's a different version of it where you throw a bunch of upgrades in the center of the mat and everyone flies in there to pick up the upgrades. Yeah, it's similar, but it's not the same because it doesn't have the upgrades in this version. Yes. And also, this version of the fur ball is very clean, very simple, and very arcade feeling. So it's, it, it lends itself fun to fast-paced fast, fast -paced play. And who places the asteroids? Uh, people take turns. Everybody brings one rock and they put it down. Oh, fantastic. I think... I think this time what we did was, I think tournament organized the person who's running this event, Emily, I think she just put them down. Ah, oh, fantastic. So, so it's like, unbiased yeah. decision making. Exactly. Again, you see a lot of situations like this, where this is going to be very crazy, because Sirius is going to come out with that auto blaster again, and it looks like Cam is going for vengeance on Curry. Oh. This is, I mean, furballs are, are Oh, there are goes Chowda. Yeah, and he's going to... Where are you going? Oh, so close. Clear his stress. He's going to barrel and boost, hopefully. Just we'll in a see. barrel roll and push looks, for a boost. It does look like it, doesn't it? That's what I would do. Just thinking about it. Beauty. There he goes. Yeah, and just do a nice boost in the range one, right where Fenrell wants oh, to live. Good job, Chowda. Be unmodified attack, but that's okay. It never hurts to have. But that's okay. What is he? Is he? Oh, he's just going to push for a focus. Oh, yeah, because he's already in range one there, I think. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. Like there you go. There you go, Rich one. There's no need to get closer. You're already there. Yeah, and here comes the Fenral Love Tap. Fenral Love Tap. Well, he's basically a f giant flying advanced proton torpedo. <laughs> Look at all those dice. Yeah, he likes it. He likes dice. He sure does. 
Oh, Ooh, that oh, is that's a what you wanna see. pretty good roll. That's what you want to see. So that's going to be a potentially dead Sarko. Let's see what Sarko happens. Sarko went oh. speed two and oh. evades like one, one evade. still eats three and blows up. There he goes. But the mines will stay. Oh, no, it looks like they've what? ruled that when you die, your munitions go away too, which is actually a little cleaner. Yeah, this definitely game, cleaner. This game would be absolute chaos if you could leave them on there. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wanted to see... A whole map full of mines. We've actually done that before. Really? It's a lot of fun. We've actually done a 16-player furball ball once where we had two mats out. It was it was chaos. I, and that would be hilarious, too, because he'd still continue to get the points. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But then it would be broken. You would just always... So true. Uh, yeah. So what Cam's doing right there is he's putting the, the automatic one damage from the Fearlessness title, and now he's rolling his Auto Blaster. Tur oh, oh, my God. That's another four hits. unavoidable damage. Unavoidable? And he just one-shot Gurry. That's... Kind of scary. He literally just one shot. Whoever he shot, he one shot it. I think it was unless those are crits. No, those are those are hits. Okay, well, Gurry should only have. Uh, well, Gurry has four yeah. and one. Yeah. So she's she one was almost one shotted. That was insane. Oof. His dice on fire. There you go. Three hits. And two one evades. two evades. Yeah, so he's one damage through onto Cirrus. I think that was. No, that was on uh, Death Fire, right? I don't even know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Too much too fast? Well, actually, it should have been four dice. No, they did roll four, but one of them was a, was a focus, and he didn't okay. have a token. Okay. So that's why. All right. All right, so now you got Gary shooting on Ezra, or shooting on Surasu? It looks like... That's interesting. Ezra has like one... Oh, no. Ezra's Predator good. and focus for Ooh. four. And that's Ezra and... taking only one, because roll two evades and one evade token. Oh, yeah. There you go. One. One point... Man, that Cirrus is nasty. Just fly uh, things like Auto Blaster, Fearlessness, things that you would normally never see in the competitive game really tend to shine in the furball format because it's the only place that you'd ever run these crazy ass lists. And this is mad damage flying. I'm pretty sure Guri's about to explode. Mm, and she goes again. There she goes. Ow. Poor Guri. She'll be, she'll be back. It's totally fine. Because it's an unlimited number. It is an unlimited number. You have unlimited lives because, again, we're going for time limit and just about... Um, we're just going for pure points. Time and points. How many points you can get in a certain amount of time. Yeah. I actually think a, a furball would be fun because even though you're fighting against so many other opponents, it's, it's one for all, so you only have to worry about one ship. You don't have to worry about planning dials for a whole bunch of ships and this guy's gonna do this and this guy's gonna do that you can focus on one guy yeah and i find sometimes when i'm playing casual or even a tournament that sometimes i do my best flying when all my other ships are dead and i've got one dude left on mm -hmm. the field and then i just you know i can focus and just do good stuff with that one guy so i think furball is super fun it's a lot of fun it's definitely a format you should definitely try out and everybody listening at home if you haven't run a furball at your local store you should definitely do it because it's a ton of fun somebody's trolling and starting zuvio backwards which is amazing are you serious uh, looks like it yep he's starting backwards that's so he's gonna... adorable yeah and like the one ship that you could start backwards yeah. because oh no he was joking he's not doing that. oh well it would have been hilarious yeah so we also just quickly missed that Alan uh, threw a I'm thinking it was an advanced proton torpedo at the uh, Thai SF the backdraft then did three damage wow yeah so he's got some points finally he's finally in the finally in the game. Alan, right, so, Alan wanted to give everybody a head start. So what's going to happen here is you're probably going to see Fenrir go three straight to clear his stress and just boost into whoever the hell's crazy enough to go in towards that middle area and, and, and try to visit him. Uh, what's going to be interesting is what the bomber is going to do. Um, he might, Alan, he might try doing a two bank and pull a target lock on Fenrir and evaporate him. Because he hasn't taken any damage. Oh, he's only taken one damage, so... He could do that. Sorry, which one is Alan playing? I'll spin the bomber. Oh, Number that's what three. I thought. Yellow three. That's what I thought, but then I got confused. Okay. Well, some things that's really fun about furballs too is if you're playing them with people that you have some experience playing with, and they're like everybody there is relatively fr we're all friendly with each other. We we all kind of play out in the PTL. In fact. Everybody at that table, I do believe, was on the party bus up to Syracuse. That was a good time. Um, I'm not 100% sure who's running the Gurry, but I, I do know... 
Billy for sure. Yeah, Billy Alan was, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Cam was there. He was actually top 16 as well. Yeah. Miranda, Miranda, Miranda Chewy. Um, yeah. Actually, I think, I think, I just don't know who's running Gertie. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what you do. Ooh. Unavoidable bombs. Oh, yeah, so he's going to hit him with another... two. He's going to tap him with two. So will be four dice. That's kind of amazing. He's going to proxy so you can make sure that he can get all of his bombs in there and we can see how many he actually takes right away. Actually, they're just doing that to get the position for the right bomb because oh, we know really? that it hits you. Yeah. Yes. If you hit with the center one, you know you hit with one of the ones so inside. So that's an obvious that's, one. You don't that's one damage so far from the first nodule and here's the second nodule and that's ooh that's lucky oh. so it only takes one damage out of two bombs that's Jeff's just hanging on so I'm assuming oh actually no sorry I'm thinking it's gum my bad what's up I was gonna ask about um, if you're allowed to have like for example other people under ships like Sabine absolutely you can have it if I was play, that. if I was playing in this I would most definitely have a warden squadron with Sabine on and everybody would be trying to kill me first cause... are you allowed named pilots absolutely you are every single pilot on here is named oh cool Oh yeah, that's true. Because yeah. you need the pilot abilities in a furball, usually. But like I said, if I was playing, I would be I would be running a warden, fully bombed out because it's a lot of fun. Well, You're everyone's target because you have the most munitions. But yeah. it, you know that's kind of what you like sometimes too as a bomber because everyone's coming towards you, which means you have the most chance to pull your bombs off. Well, I'm a terrible person, so I would be playing Countess because I love her the most. My very favorite. I had her first. Well, she was my favorite ship first. Too bad. No. She likes me better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Zuvio went three speed, which means he will have three evade die if he has to defend himself from any attacks. I'm guessing Jeff is going to do... Jeff is here, he's going to do a... Uh, he's going to do a one bank. And he's going to actually go over that mine again, but he he doesn't mind getting the rear arc because he's running gap backdraft. Here comes Gary screaming in off, of a, adorable. off her second respawn to get some vengeance on that auto-blasting Sarasu. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, so Jeff will probably eat that bomb, that bomb too. Yeah. There he goes. To see if he's alive. So because the movement template yeah, He's alive! Him. He's alive! So because his movement template overlaps the bomb, it's detonating as he's flying through that it. That counts as... Yeah, a... and you get your focus back, which means he has focus target lock. There's a good chance he does three damage, one of which will guarantee to be a crit to that bomber this round. Oh my... Yeah, Backdraft is an amazing ship, especially in the uh, especially in the furball situation. So that's going to be spicy for the Gurry player. And uh, as it looks like they've decided to work together to take Cam down. I think Cam's winning right now, so it looks like... So gang up on him. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're doing. That's the fun of furball. Billy barreled hoping to block him so they could set up that kill box for a Gurry. Oh, this that's is, teamwork, This is friends. teamwork. And then there's Fenra coming around the corner to just come oh in my God. and snipe somebody. Oh, right. So maybe we'll we'll see something funny. <laughs> just see everybody podshotting him. The, I, I, yeah, you're going to see some hits for sure. That is a lot to dodge, my friend. So Fenra will go up to the potential low-hanging fruit. He's deciding. Zuvio is the easiest target because he has no evades, no evade actions. Um, Chowder has will... picked. It looks like he's going after Zuvio. Yeah. And Guri gets her start of combat focus for being in range one of an enemy. And it looks like a bunch of focuses. Yep. He's playing, with, he's playing with fire because he's in TLT range. And that's uh, two evades. So one damage through on Zuvio. There he goes. And how that happened was because Zuvio did a, a speed 3, his ability gives him 3 evade die, and then it was a range 3, which makes it 4. Oh, actually, no, it's regen, so he's got his, uh, he has his, um, um, uh, stealth device back, or no? Did he already take damage? Uh, he hadn't taken damage. He hadn't? Okay. So he has his stealth device back. Here we go. So what the Jeff is going to do is he's points farming like a beast. So he's firing both forward and backwards, which is a tie SF ability. So that's his rear arc, which auto adds a crit. So there it is. There's three wow. damage. Hot fire out of his dice today. And that's, oof, two hits <gasps> and a crit on Chan. That's unfortunate. Yeah. So how many points does that count as? Three? Uh, that's four, four actually, because it's two hits and a crit. So you do. You get it does one look like... for each hit and then two for the crit? I think so. You're not doing the crit effect? Uh, I don't know. They didn't do it. And he's got out maneuver, so he's gonna roll one less evade die, and he gets the Ezra ability and the evade out token for zero, uh, and he gets a target lock there. Wonderful. 
So in this format, Backdraft is the ultimate point farmer because you can potentially get like multiple points per round because you get forward and back arcs. And the Taya stuff shines in, in um, shines in fur balls because of the fact that it has multiple firing arcs and it's allowed to fire out both the front and the back. But you have to choose major between the front and the back, no? No, major not at all. Also, oh, major hull breach. Interesting. So now all crits are face up on that bomber. And oh goodness! With uh, only two evade die or three, depending on it, because of lightweight frames. That's a that's a bad crit. I should be doing all damage. All damage is dealt face up because the crits usually are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is not a good crit in this game. No, no. So you said all crits were dealt face up. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, all damage is felt dealt face up. I don't know why I chose now to go pedantic. <laughs> Well, somebody's eaten some He's damage. Two. Yeah, that was the gurry shot. It looks like on Cirrus Seal. Yeah. So yeah, we are doing that. We are doing points for every attack. That makes more sense to me. Yeah. That's rewarding oh, that some good rolls. Oh, there you go. So it looks like Billy's trying to kill Steel on the uh, Ty SF now. Hey, it's all about points. Yeah, so that's... Is he focusing for... No. He has yes. Put, so he's now it's an auto hit. Oh, well, like he's, he's got... Two. Actually, no, because of lightweight frame. He has lightweight frame, so yeah, he definitely has a chance. And if he gets... Okay, so that's he's two. hit and a crit. Yeah. And, and that's going to get... That's is he going to focus? No, he's gone. No. He focused on the first one. Oh, so he didn't have anything left. Yeah. There goes backdraft. Poof. There's a kill for Billy. He'll be back. Yes, he will. I mean, if he really wanted it to be funny, he could he could start down there at the bottom of the corner, right? Or, or the bottom he could left just, corner? Or he could do just that. Again. Amazing. For people a ball. are just going to hate on yeah. until he's dead. And then the vengeance will come. Well, it just makes sense to start. Well, for sure. Right around there, because he's going to have the absolute most amount of targets for him to wail into. So who's out of... Right now, that bomber surviving on not, never being killed yet, you would think. Deathfire is hanging on. I think the two hull left on Deathfire? Yes, that's right. It's hanging on for dear life. It's awesome. So now they're, they're actually sort of competing against each other to see who which, gets the points. Which means they're not going to see Deathfire coming when he turns in and just obliterates all of them with his munitions. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. This is going to be an interesting turn. I feel like you're going to see Zuvio try to go forward and drop bombs on somebody. We'll see. This is going to be an interesting one for everybody. Because if they block Fen Rao, he can go down, he can go down pretty hard. Which one is Zuvio? Zuvio is, this, is the quad jumper. Oh. Number, yellow two. Okay, that's the one that, that says unknown. Okay, mm -hmm. that's why I didn't know. Got it. Mm. It looks like a June bug. Mm hmm. Billy looks like he's dancing. He's pretty excited about what's happening right now. Yeah, he's probably feeling good about himself. <laughs> he's doing all right. <laughs> Either that or his legs are falling asleep. This could be it. <laughs> Could be one or the other. <laughs> okay, standing. so it, it looks like it looks like what uh, oh, he just oh, the option, no optional rule, smart smart play because he's out of position. He elected to suicide himself. Really? Yeah, he basically flew off the table, really? which is like fleeing the battlefield when you're playing a competitive. Fantastic. Kills himself so no one gets the points for him and gets to respawn back in a better position to that attack people. That is almost, kind of smart. I almost guarantee you he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna wind up exactly where. Um, Oh, but he's Ooh, got, here's some here comes Pattern eyes. Analyzer, yeah, here comes Pattern Analyzer. Seriously, he's eating that one for sure. And that's going to be awesome, so she's eaten at least the one, depending on what she did, the two, and then Deathfire is going to come flailing in there. Yeah. Sorry, um, Red Backdress is going to be, oh, Whoa. Cluster Mines. That's what I was about to say, that looks like Cluster Mines again. Yeah, and they rolled nothing on the damage, so she's fine. Mm, lucky. The only downfall to Cluster Mines is sometimes they miss. Super yeah. lucky. So Gurry's probably trying to do a two sloop, which probably just got blocked, or no? It looks like. Oh yeah, so it's gonna bump there. So it's a two bank then instead. One, two, three, four, five. Are we six missing one. two ships? No, it was uh, six of the six one exploded. Oh, Remember there the it is. bomber Sorry. flew off the board. No, I did not see the draft was right over the side. Yeah, seventh ship is dead. All right, looks like a one bank. 
Is that a one? Let me think of one. Oh, yes, she's going over that one too. Oof. Ooh, but that's going to be an auto blaster right into the face oh. of the backdraft there. Blast to the face. Okay, so there's two more die. Let's see if it does any damage Oof. here. Yeah, focuses. Oh, no damage from four. That's Live awful. to see another day. Yeah, and that, my friends, is why you need Sabine on every single bombing ship. Yeah. And that's going to be an auto blaster right in the mouth. It's going to be interesting. So, ooh, Billy looks like he was able to block Fen Rao. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Which is only going to help. It looks like Billy's going for uh, assists by blocking all the ships that other, people, other ships are killing. Because that actually helps Zuvio. But then again, Fenrir will still have a shot. So Guri's got to remember to get her beginning of round focus. There it is. And there's Fenrir throwing one die, one damage on Zuvio. Zuvio should have two because of his ability. And they look like focuses. Yeah, and they get. And the reason why he got the focus token, even though he did the S loop, is because he's got Outlaw Tech, and Outlaw Tech is a uh, is an upgrade, is a crew upgrade that whenever you do a red maneuver, you get a focus token. Hmm. Yeah, it's a really great option, especially that on a ship. That is amazing. Especially on a ship that has the two sloop and the backup action, it's it's brilliant. Especially considering that he also has pattern analyzer, which lets you dis lets you move the, the stress until three hits and a crit. Yeah, so the only one he could have avoided would have been that crit because it's auto blaster. So he is eating three out of the four of that damage. Now, how come the crit gets? So the auto blaster cannon yeah. and the auto blaster turret yeah. makes all hits unavoidable. No. Yes, it costs a lot. The auto blaster cannon, I believe, is five points. Oh. Uh, and the auto blaster turret, I think, is four or five as well. I did so they're expensive that. cannons, uh, and they're only Blank. used. And they're oh, only no, used. He's ooh, he's got a focus. Kapow. And they're only usable at range one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but again, in a fur ball where you're often in range yes. one, and then you give the ship fearlessness that adds another hit. So auto blaster cannons only three attack dice. Normally, but the extra hit that's added because of fearlessness. You know so much. And it says that your crits are avoidable. Wow. You have so much X-Wing knowledge. Well, you play the game for a bit. It happens. Dengar's the dreamiest. So here's, Zu here's <laughs> Zuvio going for here's Zuvio going for a range two because it looks like they're... Actually, no, it'll be a range one because they couldn't slide that template through if they moved it back and forth. Yeah, thank you very much, Victor. Appreciate that knowledge. Oh, that's not what you want to see. No, is that a... Is that oh, a, oh wow. that's, that sucks. Oh. Live to see it the day. So Outmaneuver is a very popular upgrade in furballs because a lot of the times you're opportunistically firing at other ships that can't see you. Mm. And Outmaneuver get, lets you uh, reduce their agility when they don't have an arc on you. That looks like two focuses? Uh, yeah, that looks like Unless a I lot have... of damage. In, looks yeah. Three damage Ooh. into Zubio. There he goes. And I think that pops him if he had damage before. No, he, had, he only had one damage. Okay, so he's still alive. Look at all those chips on the side there. Who's mm -hmm. those? That's the Gurry player, I believe. Wow. That's, that's a good way to psych out everybody else. Look how many chips I have. That's a lot of focus. We're shot. seeing a lot of focuses on green dice right now. Oof, those red ones. I need those ones when I'm playing competitively. <laughs> they seem to always hit. That's another damage on the backdraft. The better? Mm hmm. It's two, basically. The TLTs. <laughs> right back. So that right above the Coruscant Invitational seems to be the absolute most popular place to respawn because every time someone dies, someone just comes back into the meat grinder and that's all it seems to be. But it's pretty good. I mean, I feel like having the range three is actually awesome because now you're coming back at range three, but just out of range. You right? have to be range three away from all ships. Yeah, so you you can't respawn and take a shot. No, because you come back at the end of combat phase, uh -huh. so yeah. it's at the beginning of the new phase. So uh, okay, yeah, there's a bit of a benefit. Again, that's exactly why uh, Alan flew his ship off the board so he could get back into the action because he was so out of position. He was out of position, and he you was don't close lose points for dying, so you might as well come back and get yourself into a good great position. Yeah, it doesn't hurt you at all to do no. that. And how are we with time? All right you now? really lose is a is a, ra is a round. Fifteen more minutes. Fifteen more minutes Already? left. Already, wow. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. That's fast. Yeah. We've already seen Guri die two or three times. Zuvio's died twice, I think. Uh, Sirisu's died twice. Uh, Fenrau has yet to die once. Oh my gosh. Uh, Ezra's died once. 
and the bomber sabotage suicided itself once. Now we don't know. So right who's now, winning right now, do we though? No, I think I think my money's on Cam right now. Seriously, I think he's got the most points. He's he's been murking quite a few ships with that auto blaster. So, but the Gurry's sitting on a stack of points over there. Yeah, but we can't see what everybody else's stack looks like. That is true, and I believe the way they're doing it is it's going to be white for hits and blue, I believe, is kills, and red's probably crits, is my Are thought sure? process. Probably, to keep the points down, instead of giving people, like, five for each kill, it's just easier to give them one color die and know what yeah. it does. Yeah, that makes total sense, actually. Yeah, come and That's exactly why you do poker chips. It makes it easier to do. Yeah, Absolutely. so we've got Victor, Victor is going to come and give us an update on what the scores look like. Awesome. All right, so... Um, I don't know if you guys have talked about this on uh, on the video yet, but uh, Emily, the TO, is using poker chips mm -hmm. to uh, give out as score points. We were just talking about that. Yeah, so the red the red chips are five points. You get that when you kill uh, one of the enemy ships. Mm -hmm. Blue chips are worth three points. You get that for uh, giving out a face-up damage card. Mm -hmm. And finally, the white chips are one point, and that's for every one damage you deal to an enemy ship. Fantastic. Uh, so right now, it's very close, like, um, between... Backdraft, which mm -hmm. is in the lead, mm -hmm. followed oh, by Ezra, actually. Oh, wow. Ezra is, is in second. I think the score is maybe, there's probably one or two point difference between them. They both have two kills each, plus maybe a three uh, face-up damage cards between them. So, uh, Fenrau is in third place, and everybody else has about five or six points. Wow. That. wow. I was completely off. So, I, they have a solid lead right now. Yeah, so from what we were watching, I felt like Sirisu and Guri might have been in the first place, because they were killing so much, but I guess There's so the much consistent happening. damage of Ezra's TLT and getting those crits and really helps. two attacks. Well, the backdraft getting a... Basically, every time it attacks out the rear, it's, it's, it's getting a crit every single time, so backdraft seems to be the ship to this format. And who's Billy playing right now? Billy's playing Ezra, which TLTs make a lot of sense. Which we said was maybe second place, so mm -hmm. that's why he's dancing. Ooh, he's having a good day. Yeah. Ooh, yep. he's might, gonna eat mm -hmm. some mines. Just the one. Let's see what happens with the roll. All right, let's see if some damage comes out of these cluster mines for a change. Yeah. So far, there's been no damage coming on these cluster mines. Did we have none earlier on? Uh, the last, no. Cirrus who flew over two tokens without taking any damage. Wow. And that's, that's two. two. Oof. And because there's a crit on the die, but cluster mines doesn't give you critical damage, the rules state you only get two points for that. Yep, that makes sense. So it looks like the Gurry player opting for double focusing probably this turn instead of going for the focus evade. Uh-oh, here comes backdraft. You're going to feel that mm. one. That is definitely an arc. And I would say, what is that, range one? Uh, yes. But he's also going to eat a homing missile. Oh. Because the bomber's back in time. The bomber's back alive and he's got a target lock on him. He's going to feel that. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's the auto blaster lined up again. And the fearlessness, so if he gets those amazing dice like he did before, it'll be interesting. But then again, he's also gonna throw five dice as well if he wants to, because the attack shuttle throws a lot of damage. Uh oh, Fenra! Oh no! Oh, oh, landing directly! That might be two. Yeah. Directly. It looks like just a side nodule? Yeah. Why do you think he would have decided to go there did he just not think that the mine was there or? i think no i thought well, yeah he would have oh, programmed he it before the mine before was the down. Mines replaced, so. he probably anticipated all of those blocks and didn't want anything to do with them so, so this figured was a them to great peel turn for oh. that for that june bug that these, the yeah, kill. these cluster mines that would have been a kill of the century to just this kill snipe fen around That's and now nice. he's got a range one on the Thai sf and he's definitely scoring some points he's making up for those other mines that yeah. weren't so helpful that was a good turn here comes the Fenrau kiss of death. If back, if, is, is that if backdraft's a hull only at one? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, backdraft's dead. Yikes. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> and that was Alan just saying, if you kill still me, I will be very mad. And that's as kill steal as he can get because he's gonna focus for five death. He's, he's not even spending his target lock, he's spending his focus instead to evaporate. 
to just absolutely evaporate the PSF. There you go. Poor Alan. He's been trying to get some points. This low PS. That's the danger of flying a low PS ship with tons of munitions that you just don't get to use your munitions sometimes because all the ships keep getting obliterated before you can show back up. He must be very frustrated right now. So here comes this, here comes another serious two point blank shot, and that's oh my god, that's another three damage, and then she takes three. That does not kill, and that kills him. So this is a high impact round. That was two deaths. This is a crazy round. Yeah. Uh, what's Zuvio at for life? One. Oh my god, we might. I think we're gonna see three kills this turn. We're gonna see three kills this turn. There's a very good chance that Gary kills Zuvio with Predator and Focus. Hmm. Yeah, seriously, will be fine. That she, was no worry, she, does, she does not need to worry about that. <laughs> ah. So here comes the Gary shot. Ooh. Is that cocked? Yeah, that's yeah, cocked. That'll be a reroll, and that's gonna be four dice for a dead Zuvio. Obliterated. Ah. Is that a focus and an evade? Uh, just, yeah. So just the evade. Well, you take three. And it had one health left and explodes. There you go. Three deaths that turn. Wow. That was a savage turn. Savage. And the poor little bomber. There is another have a red to be added to that large stack of chips right there. Yeah. We're gonna see a lot of regens. Uh, no, oh not gosh. even a not even a primary shot for this poor pathetic bomber. Oh, that could have been, been a fourth kill. That would have been amazing. Next turn. Well, there's gonna be another kill because Ezra's gonna come screaming in with all That's the next stuff. Turn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> These chaos. That's now, where's Jeff gonna set up his? Oh, there's Jeff setting up his backdraft. Smart, not being in the scrum. He wants to come in where he has his own time. Somebody being crazy enough to actually go heads up against against the Sirius, I would not want to do that. That makes more sense. Yeah, there do goes. not do not put yourself in front of an auto blaster or feel this seriously. <laughs> there we go. So poor, so, so that poor, poor Deathfire just wants to hit something. Oh. Anything. But all our ships are back on the board. Well, he's in a great place. I think he. I think the Deathfire just goes one straight, pulls target lock on Fenrau. Fenrau is going to probably eat, eat him with like five dice. Yeah. But it's okay. He can survive. And then he can hit him back. Or, if, if he's smarter, he goes three straight and drops bombs behind him. Because then, when Fenrau does his two straight... Well, no, they would bump if he did that. Interesting. I don't know. So, Gary is in the lead now with 30 points. Wow. Uh, Fenrau has 26. Backdraft has 25. Those are kind of the leaders at the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Gurry has that giant stack that you can actually see on the screen. Yep. Can you find out who's flying Sirius? Sorry, who's flying uh, Zuvio and who's flying Gurry? Names? No. Oh. You're it's asking too much. Communications? Not two communications? Well, I don't know if Victor does what I'm saying. You just ask them. Yeah. That'll work. Okay, fair enough. Hey you, what's your name? I don't want to take that much. Fair <laughs> enough. Here comes the champ. Yeah, I think he's flying he, in he's, with four straight. That's super smart. So he decided to try to block Fenrau's two straight and get a target lock on Gurry, who he's probably going to get a chance to shoot and let's maybe do some damage it, let's on. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yeah, I guess he, he probably figured going the one straight and then eating the attack dice from Fenrau wasn't worth it. No. There he goes with the three straight. So it looks like there isn't going to be a way for the Guri player to get out of the missile. So Deathfire will definitely be able to fire its concussion missiles. Oops. Barrel roll. And concussion missiles turns a blank to a hit, I believe. Interesting. So with with because he doesn't have um, he doesn't have. Um, We're seeing a lot of straights this turn. He wants to get back right into the action as fast as possible. Yep. Now it looks like you have to start. You have to regen at the range three 
but also at the edge of the board. You can't spontaneously no, no, regen. You, you can regen. If everybody was in the top right-hand corner, you'd, they would be able to regen in the middle oh, of the really? field. Yeah. I don't think we've seen that this game, though. Well, we've been we've had people off the edges. It's just that people are, are trying to put themselves in a situation where they don't regen directly into combat. That's true. Like, if he would have regen where... See, right now, that's range 3, so he could have regen there, but then he's flying directly into Fenrau's range 1. For sure. There's no point in doing that. So he, he read that block, and that's fine. Look at that. He blocked him. Yep. You called it. But that only that only helps... But he's not taking shots this turn. So uh, Alan is just begging people to stop killing everything before he gets a shot on something, because oh, because that, that auto-blaster Sirisu could potentially kill the Guri again. And that's, that's that's two hits. Two for, hits. And that's it. Two uncancelable hits. And that's gonna kill the Guri again and again. yet again another ship that Alan does not get to fire on. He's attacked once this entire game. Oh. And the one time I did it I think he did four damage. <laughs> Poor guy. Two All right, hits. there's two. And it looks like a couple of focuses. Yeah, so. that was on Fenrir. That's yeah. Even without tokens, he still got evade and auto thrusters, so it was okay. Mm -hmm. Now Zuvio is gonna throw some dice. It looks like, yeah, it's shoot on backdraft. That makes sense. That looks like a range two shot. Yeah, it's just a one hit. And that's yeah. He's gonna spend his focus for the evade. Cause he doesn't oh. need to hold on to it. Yeah, so Sirisu also has 30 points now, Ezra has 20, uh, the quad jumper, and Deathfire are tied with 4. Oh no, only 4 <laughs> points each? That's rough. Deathfire should get on the board again here. Hopefully. No, maybe not. No, because he has no tokens. 3 hits? Yeah. Just a focus. Oh, so looks like he's yeah, Billy's trying to take down Fen Rao. Ooh, Another three hits. Mad, mad fire. This could kill him. It leaves rolling that, really well. And that kills him. And that gets him another point. Gets him five. Gets him six more points. I feel like Billy's had some great dice. He's had insane dice. Yes, every die he's rolled has been almost a hit. It's been brutal. But he has still died twice, so you know that shows you he's been in the thick of it. So there's Deathfire trying to get some points. Nope. Just nope. No points for you. Look at that. Just look at that. Our Nationals champion doing us proud with his four epic points. Oh my goodness. <laughs> champ! 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 Yeah. Champ! I mean, to be fair, literally everything is, is PS5. He's having a hard time pulling target locks. And he's always, every single time he picks a ship that he three, could three, kill, three, three what? something kills it instead. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the three was for. I... Some oh, range three. Point. Someone was probably conferring that range three where you have to be. See, now you'll see somebody. See, so he's not actually oh, okay, at the board edge. okay, see, there you go. You have to be within range three of a ship. Yep, it's conferred. Like, you can't be closer than range three from a ship. Makes sense. So, see, Aaron couldn't place there because he would have been too close to the other ship, so he can place there. Mm, that makes sense. So I think if there's any, if I'm Deathfire, sorry, if I'm Backdraft, uh, which is the Thai SF there, uh, Red 4, mm -hmm. Jeff's flying that, I come screaming into that middle and try to use my ability to fire out the front and back. Because you can fire through in the front and back in one turn? Yes, the way the Thai Special Forces title works is you can, if you fire from your front arc, you can choose to roll an additional attack die. So it takes wow. the, two, the, the two attack die from the front to a three. Wow. However... If you decide not to do that, you are allowed to fire from both your front and rear arcs. So that's the trade-off. That's the trade-off. But backdraft, their ab pilot ability adds a crit whenever it's attacking from the rear. Mm -hmm. So it sometimes is worth that because then you get you get two attack dice out the rear plus a crit, and you get two from the front. Interesting. Mm hmm. So he's just, Deathfire just given up and said, "I said I'm just dropping mines. Screw all of you. Someone's gonna hit them eventually." There you go. Those are optimistic mines. Yeah, they are optimistic. But I think it's more this. I think it's more the case of there's nothing else I can do, so I'm gonna do them. But that was a good bump. That means he's gonna be able to. If Ezra's still alive, he's definitely gonna get mines dropped on him next turn. I don't think. I think this will be the last turn. Oh, I love it. So, decided to go backwards. Oh, I think everyone's dropping bombs because I think they said this is the last turn. 
Yeah. Well, there's less than a minute left. So okay, so this uh, is the last turn, so everyone said, forget it, let's just drop everything everywhere. So he's decided to drop them backwards after going backwards, because why not? We're just we're just lulzing it out now. We just want to see bombs all over this place. Well, you don't want to die with munitions on your ship. That's the worst. So Guri's going to come screaming in. She's probably going to do a boost of some sort. Probably a bank boost to the left. Her ship left is what I would do. Oh, decided against it. Just going to focus. Fair enough. It's a good yeah. safe bet. Yeah. Yeah, see, as I said, come screaming into the center where you can really take take use of, of their ability. I think everyone's back at full health, so... Yeah, so nothing's going to pop this yeah. turn. It's just about well, ending the game in a blaze of glory. I mean, at this point now, they could all focus fire on one ship. It depends on if Sirisu lands up. They could potentially kill Sirisu if they all fired at her. But it looks like they're just going to shoot at Alan. I was going to say, like, if it was my last <laughs> turn, I'd just shoot Alan. I love because Alan, but I also love to shoot at Alan. That's there's something about Alan. He just <laughs> wants to shoot at him. Well, his hair's too high. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so too much balance. So much volume. Yeah. I'm jealous. So this is actually, actually, all fairness, this is one of those things, oh my god, he's doing it. <laughs> I think they're just going to gang up and kill Alan. That's, oh, he can't fit oh, it. He could be a face. hero and do a bank boost, for a full a forward boost, and just go for it. Just do it. Just do, do it. it. No, yeah, he is doing it. I think he's doing it. Is he doing it? They're all trying to talk him into do it. Do it. Do, do it. it. He's going to do it. <laughs> this is the fun about last rounds, is you just, everybody's going to... Either they're going to all focus him down and try to kill Ezra because he has no tokens and only has uh, four life. Uh, that could very well kill him. Oh, that's, is he going to try to barrel? Okay. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to find some way where he can get into range one on Ezra. And yeah, that's it. That's he it right there. found the way. That's a range one and that's going to be fearlessness. And oh goodness, Fenrau is also going to get a nice five uh, Fenrau love tap if he can barrel back. That chowder? Yeah, I don't think he can barrel roll back. Why not? Uh, he can. He's if going he fits, if he fits, no, he won't fit. Almost. If he had done the four, he would have been able to bank boost. But I guess he did not expect Zuvio to go backwards, which was a good call. I mean, he could boost. He could bank boost to the right and just try to get some points off of the tie SF. Trying to everybody's just trying yeah, to everybody's push, just pressuring him to boost, boost, boost in the range. But he's about to check for target lock first. Oh, there you go. There he goes. Yeah. Now push for the target lock. You get some points here. All right, let's so see. So right now, Sirisu has thirty-two. Guri has thirty. Ezra has twenty-seven. Backdraft mm. has twenty-five. Fen has twenty-six. Wow, that's close. So there's a chance, well, you're not going to get the kill, so it's really those those top two, probably. Now, when you drop Cluster Mines, is yep. that an action? Yeah. Okay. Cluster Mines are an action mine. So he can still shoot. Yeah. Okay. And that'll be a range one shot. Exactly. So what's next? This is going to be Sirius Auto Autoblaster shot, which is a hit crit. A hit so that's crit. That's avoidable, so that's one avoidable damage. Which Billy does avoid and only takes the one hit. Mm. Still, still, still a point. Better than nothing. Still more, one more point added to his to his list. Billy's doing his happy dance. Yeah. Well, he got out of that one scot free. He's gonna be able to shoot at the Ty SF. So now, who's Jeff gonna fire at? Sirisu? Yeah, he's gonna use his ability to get points. Do yeah, do the smart thing. I'd shoot at Alan just because. He has target lock there, so first he's going to use his ability to fire a rear. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's going to be two hit, crit. two crits and a hit. And so another. actually, this is possible. Please let it happen. I love you, Aaron, but please let it happen. It can happen. Oh, he gets auto thruster, so he's going to take two crits. Oh my! Oh, it was cocked. They had to reroll it. Okay, so that's two crits. He could a direct hit, direct hit kills him. So please. Oh my oh! god! Oh my god, Crit that hit. happened! Oh my god! Oh, Chowda. Oh, that was incredible. So Jeff, I think, just launched himself. He just scored, what did he score, 11 points in that one kill? It's amazing. Um, right? It's three for a crit, right? So that's six plus five for a, a no, kill? No, 
Uh, plus two other damage. Oh shit! So Thirteen points. <laughs> oh my god! And now he's getting Good kill turn. farm two more points off of poor Alan probably. Oh, there it is. That's an evasive bomber. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was amazing. Well, sorry, that was, that was Gurry still has to chest the fire. <laughs> Can't believe he comes back. And just ah, I love this game sometimes. <laughs> so Zuvio's shot got stolen from him. Gurry's the only one left on Sirisu, I think. Yeah. Is she gonna shoot at Sirisu? No Thanks. tokens. Yeah. It's the same. I think it's the same either way. Yeah. Uh, um, is that two focuses? Yeah, uh, it was a blank, and then it's a, a crit, crit hit. Minute. Oh, crit hit! Well, sorry. Crit eyeball blank, and then no. evaded. It's all good. So that's it for. I think that's it. Oh no, Ezra still has a shot. TLTs. Oof. Mm, there you two go. again. And, and that's focuses. one damage. Second hit. Another. This is some consistent TLT fire coming mm. out of those dice. And there uh, we go. And evade. Base. He dodges one, finally. And that's still one more point, though. Oh, sorry. Only one damage on him. So I think that's it, then. Have we run out of turns? Uh, I think we've run out of time. Oh. So I think, I think Victor is going to line up the ships here okay. in order of points. So we'll hold on a second so we can give a, get a final point total. Hopefully they get organized so this doesn't take very long. So it looks like Jeff won at the end. That, <laughs> <laughs> that was epic. There's a lot of hands going across there so it looks like... Hopefully we get the stacks of chips beside each one. That'd be great actually. Yep, there he is. Someone knows what they're doing. Look at that. It's mm, nice for Strodio. Yeah. That was insane. all of those reds. Yeah. Amazing. That is a lot Red is reds. kills, right? Yeah, red is kills. Blue crits. Blue are crits, right. whites are yeah. hits. Seriously, auto blaster fearlessness. Man, that's nasty. Wowzers. I like the pile on the left. You can see in what order they came in. So the size of the pile matters, guys. <laughs> but so there's a little bit more points. It was 13. I don't tell them it's 13 points. Oh, does that one not have any chips? No, no, Ezra did, Billy did a lot of damage. He's definitely got to have a higher. Where are they? He's oh, in there somewhere. He's just organizing them. Yep. I'm trying to figure out who won where. He's got more kills. So. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, because the kills count for more points, right? Exactly. So, so we're going to organize them. Look at all those crits. Gotta love backdraft. All them crits. It's like the smallest color in the pile is the regular hit. Yeah, because he's mainly getting his damage from crits and his points. He got a lot of kills, too. Wow, that's amazing. That's right. amazing. So I guess there you go. One of the first ever... It is probably, it was our first ever uh, streamed or recorded... So, yeah. Uh, for a ball. Uh, it's the first time I ever tried commentating one. Sorry, it's a bit hectic and a little bit difficult to do. It's but making it the highest of all the shit. Hopefully, oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Gold medals. Hopefully, oh, that's one of Phil. That's one of Phil's. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed watching that because that was a lot of fun to right. do. And uh, you got something you wanted to say? Well, I'm just trying Victor might be getting us the actual scores here. Okay, cool. Really matter that much. That'll be fast. I think uh, it's fun to know. Yeah, I think backdraft is at up to thirty six. Jeez. Um, that's hilarious. That's a really nice little lineup. That was a lot of fun. Ah, uh, Alan. No kills. Wow, yeah, so Backdraft vaulted from fourth? Yeah. To first on that last round? Amazing. Yeah, that it was from the, uh, the double point. direct hit kill Fen Rao. Amazing. Jumped from uh, 25 to 36 points. That's, yeah. wow. Yeah, putting him in, in the lead by three points. That was incredible. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm glad we got that on camera.